Good morning and welcome to your daily operations weather briefing. Well, we have a little bit of cloudiness that has uh, entered the area this morning, and we are going to see uh, those mostly cloudy skies continue for the next couple of hours before we see some more breaks in the clouds and we end up with mostly sunny skies as we go through the late morning and the early afternoon hours. Looking at our infrared satellite, you can see some of those clouds moving overhead um, at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. I've got a little bit of low cloudiness out there as well, but you can see behind that some more breaks in the clouds and we'll see as a result more sunshine as we go in, uh, through the next couple of hours. I'm going to take a look at our short term uh, model here. What we can expect as we go through the day, we're going to see an upper level disturbance moving off to our north. And that's going to bring a little bit more cloudiness as we go into the evening hours tonight. A few scattered rain showers could also be possible in the northern areas of the Marva Peninsula later this evening, but you can see a lot of those showers weaken as they come across. It's going to really be uh, lacking in moisture and lift across the Delmarva as that disturbance moves um, to our north and off the coast later on this evening. As we go through the day on Wednesday, you can see really no precipitation to be seen anywhere in the area, and uh, we're expecting that dry weather to continue for the next several days as high pressure controls the weather here at Wallops. Looking at our current surface analysis, you can see that high pressure off the coast, another area of high pressure along the southeastern United States. That area of high pressure is going to bring some unseasonably warm conditions here as we go through the midweek period. We'll see that southwesterly flow really increase as we go through the next couple of days, seeing those temperatures in the mid 80s for daytime highs as we go through the midweek period. Currently out there, we've got uh, multiple decks of clouds. Most of that is at the uh, mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. Just a few clouds at 1,500 feet, scattered deck at 4,500 feet, and we do see the uh, broken deck at 15,000 and 25,000 feet this morning. Winds currently out of a south-southwest direction at 5 knots, temperature at 72 degrees, and that relative humidity at 85%. So a little more detail on your forecast for the next 24 hours. You're going to see Again, the uh, clouds begin to uh, decrease as we go into the late morning and early afternoon hours. And then we'll see another increase in cloudiness later this evening as that upper level disturbance passes off to the north. Again, we'll see some high temperatures in the low to mid-80s today across the area. 83 degrees expected here at Wallops. Those south-southwesterly winds increasing, coming a little breezy at times later this afternoon up to around 8 to 13 knots, gusting to 18 knots during the afternoon hours. And then seeing those winds dying down out of the southwest later this evening into the overnight hours where we'll see winds out of the west-southwest at 5 to 10 knots after midnight tonight. Low temperatures tonight should be fairly mild throughout the area. Uh, looking at a low temperature expected right around 71 degrees here at Wallops. As we look ahead for the next uh, couple of days, Wednesday into Thursday, more warm temperatures in store for us. We'll see a high temperature of 86 degrees for Wednesday, Wednesday night. We'll see partly cloudy and mild conditions continuing. Just a slight chance of some patchy fog Wednesday night into Thursday morning with a low of 69 degrees. And for Thursday, mostly sunny and unseasonably warm with a daytime high of 87. Well, that'll wrap it up for the daily operations forecast. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. for a look at your extended forecast. Have a nice morning.